So now that we've started uh, two types of um, instances of uh, Spark, one being a context, one being a session, I'll now show you how to start using Spark, um, something very simple, which is um, import a CSV flow. I'm going to create a new file, which is um, I'll call that import data csv dot py. All right, so if I just go back over here and I can refresh my folder, and here we've got import data. So I'll just go into that file. And actually, um, I'm just going to go back into context. We'll start using context. Um, and I'll just, I'll just um, copy this. And then I'll go back into import data and I'll paste all of that. Put the shebang back in there. Okay, so um, okay, so all of that information I need, um, and I'll just uh, comment out these lines. going to show you what I have over here. So I've got a CSV file called Netflix titles and if I just go into that it's a, um, a straightforward CSV file. Um, so I'll go back into And before I go back into my Python file, I'll just make a copy of this address. All right, so um, I'm just going to paste that address of the file, that path of the file, and around it, I'm going to suggest that's a string and um, for some reason you can't use tilde you have to use full paths so I know that the path is home pi user And what I'm going to do, I'm going to import that file, the contents of that file, into um, uh, Spark, PySpark, as a um, RDD, RDD data frame. So I'm going to call that file RDD, and then equals. Okay, but I also need to give it the function text file. Okay, all right, so the next thing I need to do, um, I am going to print out that file ID RDD 
as a um, object to see what object type we get. So that will be type file rdd. And I'll just put some um, line breaks in here. Okay. Just uh, copy that. Now the next thing I want to do um, well, actually the first one let's um, let's just print out what the file RDD is. And then the next one we will um, print out the variable type so which would be a class object. And then the next one, we want to print out what we get inside of it. What attributes are available for us to start using. Okay. So let's give that a spin. And we'll run that. Hopefully there are no um, errors. Okay, so here we've got a mapped up partition RDD of this file, which we've imported. Um, here I've printed out the class object, so PySpark RDD, and these are all of the attributes that we've got inside of that class object. So you can see there's um, quite a few things in there. Um, for example, uh, let's home in on some which we might be familiar with. So let's say aggregate. Um, we've got um, values. We've got sort by sort by key, etc., etc., etc. We've got reduce reduce by key, um, reduce variance, um, so there's quite a few things in here that we can we can use. So I'll just go back to this now what we're gonna do I'll just I'll just um, comment out these lines thing we'll do I'm just gonna um, print out the number of rows which we have in that file and I'll also print out the first line um, uh, that we have in that file so I'll do uh, I'll just uh, copy this line So I will say file, oh, I might want to do that in here. The file has, and that will be file rdd dot count 
So where's count in here? I think it should be there. It is right there. So that's that. That's the one which we're going to use. We're going to use count, and then let's put a comma there. Rows. Okay. So we're just going to print out the number number of rows, and then the next one, the next line, we'll print out the first line. So here we have first. So that's the next one that we're going to use. So um, we'll say first line and we'll just change that to first and just get rid of that and save it and we will run it so let that run hopefully no errors okay so we've got 6237 rows and the first line is our header row um, where you can see we've got the ID, type, title, director, etc. etc. Um, okay, so that's printed out. Now that's all great, but in a, a real life in real life what we want to do is loop through that data and use it, right? So let's do now what we need to do is um, we need to um, iterate through each line because what we're going to do like it's a CSV file so we want to iterate through each line and we want to break it up into columns um, so that way we get um, a, a map of our CSV to the RDD which we can print out so we'll say rows equal and I'll, exp I'll explain all of what I'm writing map lambda line colon line dot split and we're going to split it by comma because it's a CSV. Um, Alright, so I'll just explain that. So um, in this bit here, we're using a lambda function and we're going to use the lambda function on every line and on every line we're going to look for a comma and we're going to split that up into um, indexed data um, or columns and then we're going to map that which is this function here um, into the variable rows okay now the next thing we need to do I'm going to write another line of code here I'll call that a list of rows equal rows dot map so this is something that we need to do um, in order to see the data so we're going to perform the first line um, with the lambda function performs an operation uh, within the RDD 
and then the next line we need to um, actually retrieve that data and this is how we do it so lambda row row dot collect okay just have a double check on that so rows dot map lambda row row collect okay and I'll just explain what this line is so in this line we then map each index um, sorry uh, we, we, we then uh, return each row using collect and we are going to we just collect here we're going to lambda each row collect it and then map it to a list which we call which I'm calling list of rows and then the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to print out that data so list of rows okay okay so I think that looks okay I'll just go back up here and I'll just put a line break okay so I think that looks okay hopefully I won't get any errors okay let's run that Okay, so it's um, it's uh, shown us the data. It's printed out the data. Okay, so um, let's take a look at this. Now, I can see that there's something wrong here because within the data, um, here we've got this is the last row of the data and I can see that we've got the unique ID um, reference number we've got um, a category TV show we've got the name of the show which is friends um, and then we've got I'm not sure what that column is if, if that's just an empty cell but here I can see that we've got Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc etc etc and I know in that file that that was one column so um, that was a string which had um, commas <coughs> in the description or, or uh, not the description the uh, stars of the show so what it's done it's separated all of those out so that's not really what I need it to do so I need just I just need to change my um, split, how I'm splitting that, that line of data. So um, let's let's create a new file. So I'll just clear this quickly. And we'll call that import data C CSV rejects so what I'm going to do instead of using a, a basic split which is a comma I'm going to just use a regular expression within my split and that way it's a little bit more controlled as to you know passing through a C CSV file so let's go back Okay, so this is the file we'll use. Let's just um, go over here and we'll 
I'll just copy that. And I'll go into my rejects and I'll paste that. And we'll make some changes. <coughs> So so what I'll do, I will um, call this comma delimiter. And I'm just going to Uh, a regex expression <coughs> pattern in there, but before I do, I'll just uh, import re. Just open this up a little bit more. And I'm going to put a pattern string. And um, just bear with me as I write this regex. So that's my regex pattern finished. And what I'll do, I will, I'll just get rid of these lines. So rows equal file rdd and I'll just put a line break on that um, and I'll say map just for much easier reading I'm just going to split this out a bit so map lambda line comma delimiter so we will do a lambda function and with every line we'll use the um, the variable comma delimiter which contains the rejects pattern to split those into the correct columns to split the line into the correct columns. So that will be split line. And I'll just go back up here for a sec. So I've got a spelling mistake. That should be compile. So once I've split that mapped it to um, the variable rows um, I will then say once more list of rows equals rows dot map and here I'll do my lambda function for each row then we will collect retrieve that data and put it into the variable list of rows and we will print list of rows okay and hopefully that corrects the um, uh, delimiter for the CSV where you have uh, commas within a particular cell um, and we don't want to um, 
uh, confuse that as being a split for columns. Okay. So just take another look at that. I'm hoping that my regex is fine. So um, well, let's run that. So I've got an error, and I think it's probably, um, yeah, it's my my regex here. So I've got delimitor instead of delimiter. Okay, let's do that again. So there we, there we have it. So as you can see, it's correct. It's now corrected. So you've got the unique ID. You've got um, TV show friends, and I guess that was an empty cell. And then in this particular column, you've got all of the the actors um, in this particular column, and it hasn't split it out. So. Um, now, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do this a little bit differently. So I'm going to keep what I have, but instead of printing out the list of lists, I'm going to um, iterate through each of those uh, rows. Um, so that way, it's a little bit more um, cleaner to look at. So, a few more lines down there. So, I'm going to do a for row in a list of rows. I will print each row. And then I'll also, um, just so that we can see it better, give it a line break. Yeah, sorry, it's my keys. They're very close together. I just hit page up. Okay. There we go. So let's see what that looks like. So that's that's a, a little bit more friendly. What you might be used to in Python, being able to um, iterate through uh, each line, so that way you can perform an operation on on each of those lines. So um, just one more thing that I'll show you. Um, a very simple, extremely simple. Let's just print out the first column. So here we have the first column. And um, there's very various ways you can do that. Um, but in the most simplest way, quick, easy way, I've just given it the index of zero, which means the first column. And there you can see all of the um, unique uh, 
reference numbers which uh, Netflix uses for each of those films. Okay, um, and for the moment, that's it. Cheers.